Have you enjoyed this morning? That was Cricket Force 2011. What a beautiful day. Oh, I couldn't ask for better weather. It's just, it's really good. Um, I'm really local to here, too, so to come down to a park as well, which you haven't done before in the past. So it's just good to see um, so many people down here trying to help out for their, their club, really. Ten years, nearly 2,000 clubs. Cricket Force really is mm. making its name, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely become something special over the last 10 years. Uh, we've been, well, I've definitely been doing it for the last six or so years since I've been involved with England cricket and, and each year it's progressed and this is probably the biggest event I've been to so far with it being in a park. Um, there's, I think there's been over 200 volunteers today so that's probably the most amount of people that have uh, taken part in one of these and you know it's, it's it, there must be something good happening because it's getting bigger and better every year. So. Well, you mentioned we're in a park here, of course, most, I say most, there are a lot of cricket clubs that are just a, a, a private club, if you like, for members only, whereas here, the whole, the whole community really does get involved and what a great showcase for them today. Oh, it's brilliant and just to see so many kids down here as well, they're even getting um, painting and things as well, so it's just, it's just really good that everyone wants to help each other out. Been doing a little bit yourself painting today and uh, digging holes? I've got a bit of paint yeah, on my hands, but I don't bit. think I've done too much, but no, I might pop back later. You said you're very local to here, so mm. even more important for you to see a club like this actually almost reinvent itself. Oh, it's brilliant because it's, it's just walking distance my house, so it's really good to see that when I come down here, it's all the hard work that these people have put in, that it's just going to, there's something to show for it now. And if they're short on a Saturday, option just to maybe come in bowl a few overs? <laughs> they just said that they might uh, ring me in on, ring me up on a Wednesday, get me down here, so well, they've just um, now opened, we know. They've just opened up a, a women's uh, pavilion over there with the women's facilities and changing rooms, and we've just literally opened it up, so... It's great to see that the, they've made a women's team here and they've uh, been quite keen on it. And, you know, if, if they want us to come play one time, we might just come. Well, there, well, there, there we go, breaking news. I mean, it's really important women's cricket, of course, is still on the up at the moment to have the two of you here as well. But to have s specific facilities for women mm. is going to only encourage more women to come and play the game. Definitely. Yeah. Obviously, the, there needs to be things in place for women before these things happen. I mean, I grew up, probably Jenny did, playing men's cricket and boys' cricket. I followed my brother, um, Jenny, who's a bit of a footballer with her dad. And but she, uh, Did you get into it with your brother? Yeah, my, well, my brother and my dad, everyone plays cricket in my family. And so, yeah. like, Catherine just, we just follow family, so. Um, and obviously, with it being in, within the family, you, you go and play boys cricket, don't you? So there's not really the option of women's cricket. And a lot of people shied away from that because it involves playing with boys. So now there's the option of, you know, you can play in a boys team or a girls team a lot more are starting to get involved and not shy away from it, so it's really encouraging. Well, summer's hit, the cricket season has already started, so uh, what are you looking forward to most uh, this summer? Yeah. You want to go first? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just looking forward to putting my bowling boots back on and, you know, really trying to bowl quick again. I've, I've been out of the game, missed a good portion of the Aussie tour, just come up and played in the Ashes injured, so... I'm looking forward to being fit and actually bowling like I know I can bowl and you know, hopefully getting some success this year and having a really good tour at the Quad Series. That sort of interim time when England women's team had, had everything really, um, is a little yeah. bit of a sort of a peak in the trophy, is it sort of rebuilding time would you say now for the team? Yeah, I think we've got some um, really strong academy players now, um, so I think just below us, so I think they're pushing our places, so there's a lot more competition now which pushes us further and um, I think it'll be really exciting summer. And that just reflects the strength of women's cricket now, mm. the more and more teams, we mentioned new facilities here around the country, the more there are playing the game mm. I guess the more it'll push yeah. you guys to be on best form yeah, to take new places. <laughs> yeah. well, we, so we must be doing something right because there's a few people coming back from retirement and back from uh, taking time out of the game, they've obviously missed it and loved it seeing what's happened over the last few years so likes of Aaron Brindle and um, Sarah Taylor coming back into the scene it'll be a fight for them to get into the squad because we do obviously do have a very good setup at the minute but um, it, they're out in India now so if they have a good tour I'm sure they'll be uh, up for selection come the summer always useful to get different experiences abroad and at home for, for any series coming up so uh, listen busy day today still more things to do but listen we thank you very much for your time thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you.